were the would-be heroes of the 20th century. The high-tech billionaires, so brave for risking all of that money. And the million-dollar home run hitters, the heroes of dunking a ball. Even Hollywood had reached a cosmic high. They weren't real heroes, but played them on TV, fought in fake wars, flew fake planes. This was the America where rich guys finished first. No! Open! September 11th changed all that. Perhaps it was the true beginning of the new millennium, the day the century turned, a time when real bravery reclaimed the definition of that word, hero. People who risk their lives, who are self-sacrificing, are true heroes. People go out and, you know, trade on the market and uh, make a lot of money or even participate in a lot of sports. They're okay, they're fine, but it's not the same thing. Even the sports stars seem to think so. The brave, committed men and women. Who pay homage to those who put their lives on the line. So a ball player who hits a home run or, or, or catches a pass to win a, a football game, that's not heroic. That may be great, that may be magnificent, but uh, these are sports greats, these are not heroes. Suddenly, the icons of pop are worshiping the guys on the big red trucks. I'm in a New York state And Hollywood's so-called heroes have grown a bit more chaste. Those of us here tonight are not heroes. We are not healers nor protectors of this great nation. We are merely artists and entertainers. The protectors, it turns out, are civil servants, invisible and overlooked. In this war, the first large casualties are being experienced by the fire department of New York City. Business Week's editorial writer calls it the day the big, beefy working class guys replaced the masters of the universe. I call it the shift in the zeitgeist, the shift in the spirit of the country. And for a moment, the old America was peeking out from behind the new America, from behind the me now America, an America where people were sacrificing themselves in a true fashion. A sacrifice being recognized at firehouses by the men in the suits and the littlest ones. I, I wish the guys who aren't here now, you know, I hope wherever they are, they're looking down and, and they're seeing all this you know, and realizing how much pe people appreciate what they did. Appreciate what it really takes to be a hero. Like the firefighter's prayer says, when I am called to duty, God, wherever flames may race, give me the strength to save some life, whatever be its age. Maria Hinojosa, CNN, New York.